Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our Martin Luther King Jr. Parade. Today, in the beautiful city of Lakeland, we are going to be celebrating and honoring Dr. King. But with me this morning, right now I have Jonathan Rodriguez. He's a hey community everyone. engagement coordinator for the city of Lakeland. And um, Jonathan, this is your first parade, right? Yes, it is. All yes, right. it is. And if, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Lynn Simpkins. I'm with the city of Lakeland, and I work in the neighborhood outreach office. Today, we're going to be talking about the census. Before we kick off the parade, we want you to understand just how important the 2020 census is. And Jonathan has come right. to talk about all of the things that people want to know about the census. Jonathan, tell us a little bit more about why this census is very important to the city of Lakeland as well as our county. Absolutely. So yeah, Ms. Lynn, 2020 is here and the census has arrived. Every 10 years since 1790, uh, the U.S. has counted every person within the country. And so we have the opportunity to be counted, Lakeland, Polk County, um, Mid-March, everyone should be receiving notices in the mail to complete the census. And this is the first census that you'll be able to respond online. So we want okay. everyone to participate. We're creating opportunities through digital platforms, um, in the mail or by phone, you can complete the census. Okay, you're saying online. How, how safe is this information if it's online? Well, it is safe by federal law. Your information is kept safe. One important thing I'd like to note, Lynn, is that um, your information is not shared with any other agency in the government. This is strictly for data purposes. Two important things with the census. One, the census counts towards political representation. So our population here in Lakeland and Polk County is growing, which means in the House of Representatives, mm -hmm. if we count every person, we can get more representatives to represent us awesome. in D.C. Okay. Secondly, funding. Funding for many programs in our community, for housing, for our clinics, for our schools. A lot of that funding comes because we show our census data and the need. Okay, so what type of questions will they ask on the census? Absolutely. So. That when you get the census, you're going to be asked simple questions, name, how many people live at your residence. Um, but what they will not ask you, Lynn, is Social Security information. They will not be asking you any bank information. So if you come across something like that, we want people to avoid scammers uh, this year. But everyone will be receiving by April 1st uh, their notice from the census. Okay. So I was, that was going to be my next question. Um, when will we receive our notice? But um, when can we respond to the census? You know, so when we get our notice, mm -hmm. how does this process work? We get our notice, we go online, we fill it out, and we are going to be making available locations in this community so that individuals won't have those barriers of saying we don't have computers. Um, we're going to be making um, them aware of locations that they'll be able to go and fill out. Their a census, right? Absolutely. So here in Lakeland, we will have um, at our public facilities, in our libraries, uh, Simpson Park, Kelly Rec, we'll have uh, computers set aside for you to come and complete your census form online. Um, if you need assistance as well, there will be census workers there uh, to assist. Um, but the important thing is April 1st. April 1st is census day. So by that day, everyone will receive in the mail a notice from the census. And if you don't respond by then, Lynn, um, we'll have census takers, yeah. officials going out, knocking door to door, and trying to assist in any way they can for you okay. to complete. Okay, okay, and you said census takers, so we're going to talk about jobs, but I want yes. you to know April 1st is always known as April Fool's Day. This is no joke, <laughs> individuals. We need to be serious That's about right. our census. We need to be counted. That's money into our community, so we can't stress it enough. But tell us about jobs. How can individuals apply for jobs, and what are some of the jobs that they are going to be doing? Absolutely. So the census is hiring. Um, I've got I've had several calls with census officials um, and there are certain areas here in Lakeland that they still don't have enough applicants. So if you go to 2020 census dot gov slash jobs, you'll be able to apply there. Some of the jobs include uh, admin work, census takers where you'll go out into the community um, and knock on doors. The census is trying to hire people within the neighborhoods. They want familiar faces to be knocking on doors. So if you're interested, it is good pay starting at $15 an hour, flexible hours, 
Um, and yeah, yeah it is temporary, temporary, but it's an important job okay. to get the word out. Okay, we want to thank Jonathan Rodriguez for coming and sharing this important information about the census, which happens every 10 years. So please fill out the census when you get it in the mail so that we can be counted. Absolutely. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade. This morning with me, I have Veronica Roundtree. She's the president of the Valencia Pinehurst neighborhood. She'll tell you a little bit more about herself. Um, also joining me a little later will be Jonathan Rodriguez. He's a community engagement coordinator for the city of Lakeland, and he's gonna be talking about the 2020 census. I am Lynn Simpkins. I am the host today. I am also the senior planner in charge of our neighborhood outreach office, and I'm glad to be here today. And Veronica, tell me just a little bit about yourself before we go to introduce our judges. My name is Veronica Roundtree. I am the president of the Valencia Pinehurst Neighborhood Association, and I hold uh, other uh, hats <laughs> um, today. Um, we are a neighborhood that participates with Simpson Park. I live in the Simpson Park area, and we just do great things with all of the neighborhoods. Oh, that's awesome, Veronica. That's awesome. And today we have some. We have four awesome judges that's joining joining us that's going to be judging the parade. want to start with um, Kenny Davis II. Kenny Davis is one of the barbers at Second to None Barbershop, one of our premier barbershops in this community. And I want to say shout out to J Jairus Rutherford. He's the owner of Second to None. Thank you for allowing us to pull one of your barbers today. Kenny has been in this community for many years. And I asked Kenny, what inspired you to get into what you're doing? And he told me his boys. He have twin boys by the name of Kenny and Major. We want to say thank you to those twin boys for shaping your father's future. Secondly, we have Beverly Boatwright. She almost needs no introduction. Beverly is the daughter of one of our strong activists um, in this community. She's the former Madeline Brooks. Beverly Boatwright serves as the president of the Washington Park Rochelle Alumni Association, and she also serves in a role as the administrative assistant to Dr. Kendra J. Gardner, pastor of the New Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church. We have two other judges that I would like to have Veronica bring to our attention this morning. Yes, we have two other judges. One is Mike Taylor. Mike Taylor, a uh, former worker with the um, girl, Boys and Girls Club for 32 years, working with our children. And now he is with Girls Incorporated, doing a great job. And our next judge is Pastor Wanda Fullwood Holmes. She has uh, raised two children and several grandchildren. She was raised in the city of Fort Pierce, Florida. She moved to Lakeland in 1997 and she moved back to Lakeland seven years ago and now she has launched the New Redeeming Lives Ministry in October of 2019. So she's doing a great job with the community and with the ministry. And there you have it. Those are our judges today. I want to give shouts out also to our Martin Luther King Committee who helped to organize a lot of this parade and to our communications staff and Polk County Government TV who work with us to make sure that the filming that's coming in your living room is represented very well. So to each of those, I say thank you in advance. Um, before we get ready to kick off this wonderful parade, I've been told that we have approximately 100 plus units this year. So stand by. We're getting ready to view them live and some of them will be performing for the judges and they will be graded on their performance and what they have done in this community. Get ready for the ride of your life. This is going to be one parade that you'll never forget. So hold on to your hats because it's windy outside. So let's have a good time today. Here comes Chief Ruben Garcia and the members of the Lakeland Police Department. This department has 249 sworn officers as well as 120 support staff. Lakeland Police Department would like to thank each of you for all of your support and the loss of Officer Fo Foley and Officer Dunn. We thank Lakeland for all of their support.
continue to support the men and women in blue. It is the greatest thing that you will ever do. Following is our community services unit of the Lakeland Police Department. These individuals are in the community on a daily basis, making sure that the information is communicated to our citizens about crime prevention. We thank them for all of their service. We still have some of our Florida Highway Patrol. Thank you, Florida Highway Patrol, for everything that you do around the state of Florida as well as our local communities. And then following the Florida Highway Patrol, we have our Lakeland Fire Department. You hear the sirens? That's our Lakeland Fire Department. We thank these men, for men and women, for everything that they do in this community. Lakeland Fire Department, everyone. Again, each of these divisions within the city of Lakeland and the Florida Highway Patrol are on the streets daily, keeping our community safe. Safe from all criminal activity, safe from all negative activity that can impact Lakeland. Okay. We'd like to um, recognize these swag bags that the census have given us. This is some of the information that I have that I've been given by our census representative, Jonathan Rodriguez. In these bags is important information and little paraphernalia that we can be reminded that this census is coming up. So our swag bags, thank you Census 2020 for all that you do to keep us informed and keep us engaged. We had so many people that said they had filled out applications and they had not heard anything back. Well, you have to look for that special number. So once you do the application, make sure you have the number ready. Check the number and um, try again. Next, we have Kathleen High School Marching Band coming up. Kathleen High School Band has performed many popular events and this is a parade for Martin Luther King. They are the marching Red Devils, and they will be in the Strawberry Festival coming up this year. And if selected, they will be performing at the Florida Battle of the Bands in Orlando, Florida. We all like to thank our local bands for being a part of this parade. And many of you who have gone to Kathleen we refer to them as Kayleen, Kayleen, the Red Devils. The Red Devils are in the house. Let's give them a hand. Yes, they are going to perform at the Florida Battle of Bands in Orlando if selected. So we hope they get selected because they are a phenomenal um, band for the community. And we have so many Kayleen, as they call it, Kayleen people. So give it up for Kathleen. This is unity in the community. Yes, we have so much unity in our community through the neighborhoods, through the bands, through the schools, through the government, through the city. We just get all get together and we are one big happy family. Listen at that good music. Go Kayleen, go. Go Kayleen, go. That's what I'm talking about, a red devil. If you're a red devil, you know what it means to see them marching by here. So if you're Red Devil, do your thing. This is the Rose, he Rose Heights Elks Lodge number 318. They operate under the Rose Heights Elks Lodge. They are located here in Lakeland. This organization primarily operates in the civic association business. A membership sector. It is a community service organization and a charitable profit organization as well. It has partners with Access Florida and offers a variety of monthly activities to the public. And every year after the parade, they take and they get about food. So make sure you go by there and get your hot dogs and stuff. 
Next we have One Love for E. That's the city officials gonna come up. Now we have the we have um, the city of Lakeland's um, community f flow. That's our mayor Bill Mutz. We also have Natalie Gallen on this float. She is our parade marshal this year. Yes. And tell us a little bit about Natalie. Oh, Natalie. We call her Miss Nat in the community. She's everybody's mama. Everybody respects her. All the kids love her. Miss Nat is the one to come to when things are going wrong. She always be there to put it back together. Everybody yeah. depends on her from the city to the community. She is one love for the community. Let's hear from Miss Nat and the city. All right, Miss Nat. Nat, Nat, Nat. Nat, Nat. Okay. Yes. City officials went by first. This is the we had the city officials. I got Kona, but this is not Kona. That's not Kona on the screen. Okay, Kona. again, we have some Rose Heights, Elk Lodge continuing to. Um, okay, we want to talk about the Buffalo Soldiers. Now, the Buffalo Soldiers settled in this community on the on the north shores of Lake Wire from many years ago. The Buffalo Soldiers want to be a representation of what black soldiers served, the, how black soldiers served this community years ago. We want to thank them for everything that they do to educate our youth, ed educate our citizens. The uh, Buffalo Soldiers, they do so much in the community. They bring horses to the children in the communities. Those that had never rode on horses, they get a chance to ride and find out the history of the Buffalo Soldiers. This is all out of. She ain't gave us no more. Now we have our Polk County Sheriff Department. As most of us say, here come the Judd. That's right. Here, comes Here comes the, the Judd. Judd. He is known. That would be Sheriff Grady Judd. That's he right. is known around these parts. And all over the world. We want to say don't come to Polk County if you come to commit a crime. You I'll commit a crime, behind. you'll do the time. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Polk County Sheriff Department, for all you do to serve our county. Superintendent. We, uh, now we have the Polk County School Superintendent. Is that hers? Can't hardly tell. Is it? Still the Polk County. This Polk County Sheriff's Department, I, as we say, do a great job. That's here for the Sheriff's Department. Polk County Sheriff's Department. Grady Judd, you don't, he, he don't play nothing. He don't even play the radio. <laughs> we have so much going about him. I can go in every county in Florida, and everybody know our judge. They say, oh, he's going to be a TV celebrity. <laughs> and on that float is Ms. Annie Fowl. She's a matriarch in this community. We want to say hello to Ms. Annie Fowl and all of our citizens that are represented on the Polk County Sheriff Department's float this year. Yes, I see we have all of our um, ministers on there. Who is this? This is a class of 1984, and they are wearing shirts that say Dreaming. Thank you, class of 1984, for representing this parade. Loyalty to mankind as a whole, our God marches on. Selma, 1965, a time to break the silence. Thank you so much. And you already know that's the class of 1984. Let's give that class of 1984 a hand. All right. They demonstrated what 1984 is all about. Now we have our Polk County School Board. Yes. Coming Polk, up. Polk County School Superintendent Bird. There's um, Superintendent Bird waving with her pink top on. She has been doing a magnificent job since she came from Jacksonville. They, when she came from Jacksonville, they called her the Jackson Five, the band. Okay, our Polk County Elections Department is next. And all of us know 
Participating in our elections is a very important thing to do. It is one of your privileges that you should exercise your right to do. That's right. It ensures our integrity that our vote will be counted. Our fire rescue is next, Polk County Fire Rescue. You hear the sirens? When you hear those sirens, you know that they're coming to make sure that we are safe and well in our community. And when you hear that siren, move out the way so they can get to where they need to get to. Our life is in their hands. You don't check. church that's the spot. We're moving very rapidly. Here comes Crystal World of Crystal Dance. World. Crystal, uh, Crystal World of Dance World offers many cultural programs to our youth in this community. They are represented across the city doing magnificent things. There's Miss Crystal. We want to say thank you to the Crystal World of Dance and the, and the individuals, I believe that they might be doing a little performance for us. So let's sit back and watch the performance. Yes, Crystal World does such things as ballet, tap, jazz, hip hop, you name it. The girls learn how to do it and the, the people that are in the program. Crystal has did a magnificent job with the dance. Yeah. Yes, they are going to do a performance for us. So hear your eyes on the screen because get ready to see something. They are going to do a dance for us, a step dance. You never know what you get when you see this. Here they go. All right. Get up, baby. Yes, our beautiful girl. Look at her. And all the beautiful colors, blue and green. That's what we're talking about. Put our children into something that they can be proud of, that we can be proud of. Dancing, performing. I will say they have much better moves than I have. All right now. <laughs> yes, they did they think. <laughs> That's just my hand. Thank you, Crystal Walls of Dance. I believe we have their next group that might be doing a little number for our judges. Right now, Crystal has another group doing their dance. As I was saying, they do all kinds of dances. Go girls, go. They are doing a great job, look at them. Look at the young ladies. They tapping now. Squirreling. They doing a little bit of everything for us today on this windy day. Thank you, girls. Thank you, Crystal World of Dance. Thank you, thank you. Okay, this is the Church of God Gospel Tabernacle. The Church of Gospel Tabernacle was founded in 1981, and they're located in our community they are one of our um, one of the parades they were the winner and we like to always thank our faith-based entities for participating in our parade that is a beautiful flow yes a beautiful, all right beautiful beautiful, beautiful let's flow. listen a little bit to this music oh yeah oh yeah now that's what i'm talking about got us pep got us rocking all up. right go all right, now this is called okay, the Okay, Modella, the Modella Elementary School. Modella is one of our schools in South Lakeland. Myra Richardson is the principal, and Gail Michael is the assistant principal. We want to thank you. Thank you, Modella. 
Then we have, I believe this, Okay, this, this is Slim. It's a group known as the Single Ladies in Ministry, Greater Refuge Temple, Slim, Single Ladies in Ministry. Thank you. If, you are, if you're a single lady in ministry, you need to contact the Greater Refuge Temple to be a part of this group. If, you, if you're a single lady, let me hear you yell. <laughs> what? Okay, this is still part of our Greater Refuge Church. They have a float. Thank you. Thank you for these beautiful floats that we beautiful see in our float, parade. Greater Refuge. Now I believe we have our... All right, now. They got some this music. This music is jumping. great. Celebrating the journey is our theme this year. Celebrating the journey. We have another group that I believe is getting ready to perform for our judges. The Coleman Bush Boosters. Let's hear it for the Coleman Bush Boosters. The Coleman Bush Boosters right here. Coleman Bush Boosters. They have a group twice a month at the Coleman Bush. They do a great job in the community. Oh, this got to be one of the baddest performing groups in Lakeland. I believe this is team business. Taken by surprise. This is taken by surprise under the directorship of Corey Toomer. Taken by surprise. TBS, whoa. TBS is in the house. TBS is known for taken by surprise. This group has been across our nation, have been across our state, and they are award-winning groups. Their precision is on the money. TBS. TBS. Whoa. Thank you, Corey Toomer. Thank you, TBS. TBS did their thing. All right. Good job, TBS. Next, we have Men Faithfully Working. It's a group in the community that helps out with everyone. They are with the youth. They're with elderly. They help paint houses. They do whatever is needed in the community. Men faithfully working. I believe we also had prior to that was our Mid Florida. They are represented in our parade today. Mid Florida Credit Union. Ching Ching. Mid Florida Credit Union. Now we have PAL. PAL program. Police Athletic League. That's here for PAL. PAL Athletic League is uh, between the Parks and Recreation and Lakeland Police Department. They the Mighty Mike football made up to the second round of the playoffs. The um, cheerleaders won several trophies. They're doing a great job. Now we have the Eastern Star. Eastern Star in the house. 42. International Free and Accepted Modern Mason's Order of Eastern Star. They preceded our PAL group, I believe. We're still looking at PAL. The cheerleaders are getting ready to perform. Let's look at these cheerleaders. The cheerleaders won trophies. Yes, they did. Yeah, trophies and medals at the state of Florida. PAL competition. They played first. And they play first in their three age group. Mighty Mike, JV, Pee Wee, and Varsity you know? football coaches of our 2020 season. I don't think I'll be able to get on that team. I'm a little bit off, off script. Hey, I can't do it myself. <laughs> I'm glad for the young people that we have. Paving the way for us. Yes, they say we so ready. Lakeland, we so ready for you with this 
20, right. 20 so Martin ready? Luther King Parade we with Memory Journey. Look at the beautiful colors, the orange, white, and green. They did a fantastic job just then. Let's hear it for that walking group. Pal. Go, pal, go. Canes Unite. This is a float that I'm most proud of. This is the Lakeland Neighborhood Association Coalition float. Veronica, I think I'm going to let you talk about this one. Let me tell you about this float here. This is the best float in the parade. This is the community float. The uh, NAC, Neighborhood Association Coalition, it has several neighborhood leaders on there and the other community leaders that wanted to ride on there. And we have our theme, so we are up to date with it. And each one of I the- I see you, Mr. Each, Pump, Mr. Each, Chastain. I see you, Christelle. Yes. I see you, Ratio. Yes, I all see you, Miss Saban. Go ahead, neighborhood leaders. That's what I'm Represent talking about. Represent Lakeland well, remembering Remem the journey. Remembering the journey. And we have um, Kim from Parker Street Ministries on there. We have Valencia Pinehurst neighborhood. We have Paul A. Diggs neighborhood. Save we have our Gladys children. Leggett, Gladys Leggett neighborhood. We have um, Crystal Lake neighborhood. We have the new 14th Street neighborhood of West, West, um, West, <laughs> Westgate, we have all our neighborhoods representing the community. Go ahead on, community. NAC, go ahead on. NAC, that's what I'm talking about. That's our float right there. The community oh. float, NAC. Followed by Save Our Children. And then we have, um, following Save Our Children, we have Artistic Nails and Beauty Academy. Yes. This is uh, an academy that offers um, cosmetology, massage therapy, and so much more. Then we have our Democratic Women's Club of Lakeland next. Doing the a great job, the Democratic Club. <laughs> next we have our Mount Pleasant AME Church. Our Mount Pleasant AME Church. Thank you for being a part of this parade. Again, this is one of our churches in, in Northwest Lakeland that participates each year in the parade. Followed by Mount Pleasant is going to be our Lakeland branch of the NAACP. Number 5108, our Lakeland branch of the NAACP. This National Association for the Advancement of Colored People is a civil rights organization in the U.S. formed in 1909 as a biracial endeavor to advance justice for African Americans. They are remembering the journey and should be represented as so. Yes, and if you are not a member of the NAACP, then you need to be a member because it, it's for anyone. When we say color, everybody has a color, so everybody needs to join it, NAACP. It does great things in the community. NAACP taking their time to let us see what they all about. I believe they have a local office in the Coma Bush building located yes, at 1104 Martin Luther King Avenue. That's in the Coma Bush building. So again, when we say the NAACP, we want to say that um, when you look at one, we don't look at the race. We look at that all men are created Create. equal and this organization represents such. Thank you, NAACP. Mount Pleasant went by again. We see another Mount Pleasant float just went by. I remember, do you remember, is what they are saying, NAACP. They have their meetings twice a month, 
at the Coleman Bush building. Their meetings are the second, second Thursday of the month and the fourth Thursday. Sometimes they combine them to make one meeting, but they are at six o'clock at the Coleman Bush building, second Tuesday, uh, second Thursday of the month, NAACP. Next we have the Graham Girls Playdate Squad. Graham Girls Playdate Squad is a nonprofit group that focuses on mentorships and self-love. They meet once a month to fellowship and do crafts and activities. First United Church. First United Church, the Justice and Peace Ministry at First United Church is seriously at work doing things that need to be done and living in faith. That's here for the First United Church. First United Methodist Church. Next is Coke. Next is Coke, Coke, Florida. Coke, Florida is a family-owned independent Coca-Cola bottler. They, are, they exclusively sell and distribute all over the country at 18 million consumers in 47 Florida counties. That's here for Coke. And I believe Nothing that, like a Coke. It's the real thing. Coke do your body good. Lakeland Storm. Lakeland Storm is in the house. Do you hear the music? It's a storm coming now. The Lakeland Storm football and cheerleading group. They are w working up the neighborhood right now. Lakeland Storm is a local youth football and cheer organization for children ages 4 to 15 years old under the Mid-Florida Football and Cheer Conference. That's here. You go, Storm. That's here for the storm. I believe the storm is getting ready to perform. So let's look at the storm perform. All right. I told you a storm was coming, didn't I? A storm is on the way. Here they go. Work it out. Work it out. All right, now, look at my girls go. All right, watch out. The storm is on the way. Uh-oh, 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 go storm. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. They working that thing out. I told you the storm was on the way, didn't I? And now you got it. Are you going to survive the storm? That's all we need to know. Uh-oh. I mean, they putting it on for us today. They got their thing going on. Go storm. Oh, storm, go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Look at them working on <laughs> They so flexible. <laughs> wow, wow. Did you see that? Did you see the storm? Boy, did, the storm went through and boy, it shook up everything. <laughs> yes, they did. Yes, they did. Oh, storm. Thank you, Lakeland Storm. Can you survive the storm? <laughs> the electric storm. They did a. I remember thing. there used to be a song called Can You Stand the Rain? But can you survive the storm? That's, that's what we're right. talking about. That's right. I said we were wavering with that storm. It had us rocking and rolling, but uh. <laughs> okay, who, hey, who do we have next? Hold on. With luxury cars, I believe. Okay, next we have Lee's Luxury Car Wash. Lee's Luxury Car Wash. Grand opening of Lee's Luxury Car Wash, hand washing and mobile service. Located in Bartow, Florida, on the corner of 17 and Highway 60, 1140 East Van Fleet Avenue. 
Drive in Bartow, Florida. Okay, I believe they playing the violin on that float. Okay, this is um, Smith, Fideller and Smith coming up. Smith, Fideller and Smith, which is a locally owned and operated firm specializing in workman's comp, compensation, personal injury. Thank you, Smith. Next we have Keeping It Real. Keeping It Real is an after school program located in Lakeland. It is also for grades K through eight, offering mentoring and homework support. Again, Keeping It Real. And they keeping it real too. Coming up is our Lakeland Lumberjacks football and cheer. The Lakeland Lumberjacks football and cheer organization has been involved and active in this community since 1955. The Lumberjacks provide, promote sportsmanship, self-esteem, and many, many other characteristics. And they are going to perform for us. Go LLJ, Lakeland Lumberjack, youth, cheer, and football. What I like about many of these organizations, they not only offer activities, recreation, but they're strong in academics and education. We thank them for the mentorship, we thank them for their sportsmanship, bringing self-esteem to these youth in our community. You have to give kids an outlet, and many of them receive that outlet through activities such as football, cheer, and other programs we offer in this community. Thank you, Lakeland Lumberjack. Goody Treats. Goody Treats is a community-based program focusing on building our youth groups through self-esteem and putting confidence back into them. And they're performing for us. As you see the strides, they're, they're walking. They're showing you how they can do things very confidently. Self-esteem and confidence is something that our children need to make sure that they keep inside of their hearts with bullying and all the other anti things that happen in our schools, we want to make sure that our kids are confident and knowing who they are and whose they are. And the way they strut, we see that they have confidence. They are doing a beautiful job with the strut. I know back in the day we used to have a strut. Well, yeah. But they got they strut and they got it going on. Exactly what you're talking about. Get your scrut on. Get your scrut on. You better make sure. Yeah, I'm caught. Well, when you get that scrut on, nobody will never forget you. It'll be your own. Come on, let's Yep. Uh-oh, they got a squat with that thing. Uh-oh. We got some, um, some exercise going on here, some aerobics and all that good stuff. Now, if I squat down like that, I couldn't get up. Y'all have to pick me up off the ground. <laughs> oh, 
part. What a beautiful job. Who is this? Who is that? Is that Delta Lakeland Alumni Chapter of Delta Six Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated? Has served the needs of Polk County community since 1977. The 2019 Jabberwock winners are with us today. Delta Gems is the youth mentoring program for girls ages 13 to 18 years old. Yes, Delta. Lake? I read that. They have two sets of walkers. So many of these youth that you see in this program are what they call, or what they're known as the Delta Gems. Yes. That's Ms. Doretha Brooks. I know she's very involved with Delta. We see many of our community leaders that reach back and help our young people in every way that they can, building confidence, self-esteem, but most important, Lee is there, they also make sure education is always first. And as I was saying, the 2019 Jabber Walk wow. winners are here today, as you can see there. They were so great that they are the 2019 winners. Uh, Veronica, I think you're going to let me um, take over this yeah, one. That this one. is the New Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church. Okay, this is also my church, so I'm a bit proud of, of this particular entry here. New Mount Zion, these are our youth, and they are participating in this parade just because they know what Dr. King stood for in this community. New Mount Zion is under the directorship and pastoralship of Dr. Kendra J. Gardner, Senior, we want to thank our youth step team for being a mighty, mighty part of this parade. Look at our babies. Yes, they're doing a beautiful job. And, and also, um, New Mount Zion is doing a dedication um, this this week on Sunday. Well, on Sunday tomorrow, they're going to be doing a dedication of a multi-service building where they're going to be offering more to our youth in the community as well as to the church. This multi multi-use building will be open very soon. It's going to be housed with computers. It's going to be a place for kids to come and do their homework. There will be tutors that will be there working with them. It's going to be a first class facility. We want to thank New Mount Zion for making this happen. And I believe this project was done debt free. People were willing to give to make it debt free. Wow. Now, you said it was a multi a, a facility. It's going to be a multi-use, yes. Is a multi-use. Is it going to be for the community or for just the New Mount Zion? It's open to the entire community. Oh. New Mount Zion is partnered with the Webster Park Neighborhood Association where Sam Simmons is the president and Lolita is the vice president and they do many, many great things in the community. Oh, okay. That's a great thing. That's good to know that we have something else in the community. Black, black Nurses Rock Lakeland. Their mission is to inspire, to empower innovative leaders that will serve and educate the community. Their community organization is dedicated to improve the quality of health in Polk County. Let's hear it for Black Nurses Rock. Black Nurses, Nurses Rock. Rock. Yes. All right, let's hear it. Black and Nurses Rock Lakeland. I, I don't have nothing else. We have unlimited behavior performing in front of our judges. This is another organization that serves our young people, giving them a way to express themselves in a positive manner.
look at them perform. Oh my, they slipping and flopping all over the place. Wow, 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 wow. wow. <laughs> Okay, we have Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Omicron Kappa Omega Chapter coming up. They have been since 1908. This is the first Greek letter organization established by African American women, and they remain faithful in this community doing many, many things serving our young people. That pink and green looks mighty great on this camera. Yes, it does. Pink and green, what a combination. Coming up is our Lakeland Destroyers. This Lakeland Destroyers youth sports football team is a Lakeland-based sports program focusing on building quality foundation to empower our youth within the Lakeland community. Again, ladies and gentlemen, that's Lakeland Destroyers. Just like the storm, these are the Destroyers. All right. All right. Lakeland. All about that L. All Lakeland right. Destroyers. Thank you. All right. We here coming is the George Jenkins High School Dream Makers Band. I like that. The Dream Makers the Band. Dream. They're keeping the dream alive. Yes, Still they music. Are. George Beautiful. Jenkins is in his 27th year. This band is able to represent the school and the community, and we are thrilled to have them with us today. They are remembering the journey. We hear the music of the Dream Makers Band, but we still see the Lakeland Destroyers performing before our judges. While we watch this, Lakeland Destroyers continue to perform. And coming up next is our George Jenkins High School Dream Maker Band. Let's listen to this beautiful music. There's nothing like the unity and sound of a marching band. Nothing like it. It's nothing like the band. When they can play that music, oh, it soothes your soul. We got anywhere from drums, so trombones. Horns, trombones, and that saxophone. Oh, don't, don't oh, mess with that saxophone. Sax. Don't, don't mess, mess with, with that sax. sax. We want to keep it sexy, yeah, everybody. Oh, yeah, sax Keeping it sexy. And the drums, listen at them now. Now that's what I like. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dun-dun-dun. Dun-dun. Coming up, I believe we have another unit that's getting ready to perform before our judges. Let's watch this performance. Okay, I believe this is exclusive Reloaded Dance Team performing before our judges.
Thank you. We have Citrus Connection. They proudly serve the residents of Polk County with public transportation. Visit them at ridecitrus.com to learn more. Citrus Connection. Citrus Connection is in the house. Everybody needs to get on board and get a ride sometime. If you never rode on there, get on there and ride and see what your city and your county is all about. Citrus Connection. Yes. Kids on the Move. Kids on the Move is a nonprofit organization formed to provide daycare, aftercare program, and services for the latchkey children during the daytime, after school, and weekends. So weekends you can bring your kids. Our, their mission is providing an environment where kids can have fun, memories to last a lifetime. On the move. Kids on the move. Citrus Connection is going by and say, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. Citrus Connection. All right. Keep moving forward. All right. Kids on the move is coming on up. They're moving up in place. Again, I say it's kids on the move. And this Kim Abram is the contact person, and they are providing all kinds of aftercare, daycare, latchkey care, after school and weekend care. Kids on the move. Their mission is providing an environment for kids that they can have a lifetime of remembrance. Headed up by Kim Abram. Kids on the move. It's a nonprofit organization. F14 is in the house. They walk it out. Walk it out, F14. 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 One love for our community. We have our three wheelers. They are part of Stop the Violence. Remembering the journey, we have all remembered that Dr. King stood for nonviolence. He represented all mankind, so we want to thank them. We have Zion Hill represented in this parade. Zion Hill is one of our local faith based entities in the community, very active. Here comes our Lakeland Fire. This is our youth basketball team. They play at Simpson Park. Our Lakeland Fire. Look at these young boys learning discipline through athletics. Yes. Let's give it up for Lakeland Fire and for Simpson Park. New Bethel. Bethel AME is is one of our churches here in Northwest Lakeland. New Bethel is under the pastoral ship of Dr. Eddie Lake. They are very involved in this community, a strong pillar of this community, serving Polk County for 103 years. Thank you, New Bethel. I believe this is Unique Wings and Things. Unique Wings and Things. They are located at the F Rose Elks Lodge at 1626 Texas Avenue. 
unique wings and things. And by things, Go they by. mean oxtails, turkey wings, all those things. That's what things stand for. Everything, right. including well, the wings. Well, you know I said things, but it's things. Thing. Unique wings and things. Cannon Funeral Home. Cannon Funeral Home offers a wide array of services to our clientele, which includes but is not limited to traditional and personalized funeral service. Cannon Funeral Home. Come by and see them, 317 West Memorial Boulevard, Lakeland, Florida, under the leadership of Reginald Cannon. Cannon Funeral Home. 863-873-5610. Polk County School Board is rolling up on us. Polk County School Board, remembering the journey. The Polk County School Board, you turn this. And I think that the Polk County School Board is saying to all our youth, take Monday off, it's a holiday. Don't go to school on Monday, it's a holiday. Thank you, Polk County School Board. And they're hiring, they said now hiring. So if you need a job, go by and see Hope County School Board. Now, get you a job, whether it's on the bus or in the classroom. Simpson Park Community Center is next. I, we all know Simpson Park Community Center um, represents many things in our community. It's a safe haven for our young individuals to go and participate in, but not only for the young, for our seniors as well. There are so many activities that you can do out of Simpson Park. And we want to thank all of the staff at Simpson Park for keeping their doors open for the community. And we thank you for being a large partner with our neighborhood and other organizations. Next we have Volkswagen. Volkswagen. They're a group of drivers support the Martin Luther King Parade, and they look forward to participating every year, they say. So every year we're looking for you, Volkswagen, so you just come on down and be a part of the community. Volkswagen. When, when I see these Volkswagens, I think about that old cartoon called Speed Buggy. You remember Speed Buggy? Yeah, Speed Buggy. Yeah, Speed, yeah. Beep, beep, Speed, Speed Buggy. Buggy, yes. All right. So these Volkswagen. Volkswagens look mighty good in this parade. I believe behind the Volkswagen, we got our City of Lakeland Solid Waste and Recycling Department coming up. And many of us know them by the color of our garbage cans. So, you know if you're in the county, your garbage cans is one color, and the city is another color. And we ask that you to make sure that you learn about recycling, save our environment. Um, city of Lakeland Solid Waste will come out to meetings. They will help educate your community on what you can recycle, what you should dispose of, and how to dispose of it properly. Thank you, City of Lakeland, for all that you do, keeping our streets clean and beautiful. Yes, make sure you dispose of everything properly. The blue cans are for the plastic and the paper. again real quick with Jonathan Rodriguez. Um, Jonathan, again about those jobs for the census. Can anyone apply? Absolutely. So you want to go to 2020census.gov slash jobs uh, and apply for many positions in your local neighborhood. Um, they're applying for census takers, admin work. They need you to help them get a complete count this year for the next 10 years. We definitely need that complete count and we're going to be working on many alternatives and solutions to making that happen in our community. That's right. So that again, that's 2020census.gov slash jobs. Next, coming up, and Veronica will be joining me again, is Coney Funeral Home. It's a family-owned business that has served this Lakeland community for over 30 years. They specialize in traditional um, ceremonial services, military services. You name it, Coney Funeral Home can do it all. 
Shouts out to Coney Funeral Home and her staff. Sanji Coney, we love you. We thank you for all you do to support our community, how you give back in many ways. We cannot appreciate all the things that you do. We thank you for your pro professionalism in serving our community, yes. taking everything very personal. Yes, you do. She really does, and she do it with a smile. Always with a smile. And when you see that rose, everybody, when you see a rose, you know that a rose is is very personal. When a woman receives a rose, rose. that means a lot. Yes. So that symbol of this funeral home is a rose. rose. So they're giving you a piece of their heart. heart. Yes. And as we see the many units, that the, the fleet of cars, the horses, the carriage, and not only for funerals, you can use these services for many other things in the community. They serve graduations. Look at Miss Coney. Look like Mary oh, Poppins is, up there yes, with that umbrella. That is in so that beautiful. professional way. Yes, look at her. Yes. Hi, Sanji Coney. All right. Hey, I wouldn't mind Coney, riding out like Coney, that. <laughs> Coney, Coney, yes. Coney, Coney. Yes. Yes. I believe this will be <laughs> our last <laughs> float of this parade. The last one. And I would like to say to all the viewers that took time to tune in to watch this parade, thank you for all you do. We realize that many individuals can't be in this parade, but we thank you as solid supporters of this community. Again, we want to thank our judges for everything that they've done. We want to thank our communication staff, our PGTV staff. We want to thank Jonathan Rodriguez with the census. But most importantly, we also want to say in memory of Ms. Christine Simmons, your dream lives on, Ms. Christine. Earlier this week, there was a dove release by the Juneteenth Committee in honor of Ms. Christine Simmons. That was a very personal and special service because your dream will continue to live on in the streets of Northwest Lakeland. We thank you for what you brought to Lakeland more than 35 years ago. This community is better because of what you have given to us. And we want to say to Natalie Gallen, thank you for being our parade marshal this year. Keep on doing great things in this community. And with that, I want to say thank you for allowing me to be your host today. For having my co-host, Miss Veronica Roundtree. Any parting words, Veronica? Well, I want to say that we had a wonderful time. Everybody did a wonderful job. And go out and participate with our vendors that we have out there. Make sure you go by and um, patronize them. Find out what they have. They got good food. And just enjoy yourself today. Peace out. Thank you.